the crack. <laughs> yeah. There's cracks all over the place, dude. Look at that big crack. 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 Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Metal Detecting in New Zealand. Uh, this is not a normal day. Uh, and I, for those of you who know, I live in Christchurch, New Zealand, and we were hit by an earthquake yesterday morning. It was a magnitude of 7.1. It's created a lot of havoc here in the city. Um, but I'm going to go metal detecting today. Why not? It's Father's Day. I've been planning this day for a while. Our house is fine. Our family's fine. Um, so I'm going to go metal detecting. Uh, today I am on a mission. I want to find 50 coins. I've got a park here. I've hunted twice before. I know it's been hunted by uh, some other guy a while ago and who knows how many other people. But I'm on a mission. I want to find 50 coins today. I'm not going to be happy unless I find 50 coins. Maybe some of these coins will be silver. Who knows. So why don't you come along, see if I can find these 50 coins, and uh, tell you what. While I'm doing all the hard work digging everything up, why don't you check out some of the footage that I took of the city this morning. So we went to Denny's for Father's Day breakfast, and along the way I took some footage of the buildings, some flooding, some cracks in the road. Uh, there's a lot more devastation in the city, but the, it's, it's all cordon. You can't get into there. The uh, police are blocking everything off. Uh, there, we still have aftershocks. Um, last night I woke up to at least five earthquakes. You can hear them. Everything's rattling. They're not nearly as big as the major one that we had yesterday, but we're still having them. And uh, even some of the trees in this forest that I'm standing in fell down from the earthquake yesterday. So anyway, you sit back, check out the footage while I'm digging these coins. I'll get back to you and let you know how many I've found. This is where we got our car serviced. It's okay, buddy. This all got flooded. Oh, let's go down. Let's go that way. Let's see, let's see what's in there.
not sure if you can hear the dogs, but I uh, just had another earthquake walking. I'm at the park now, and just as I got here, you can feel it shaking. But uh, yeah, this is the park. Nothing too exciting. Oh, and one other thing I forgot to mention, we're in the middle of a storm. Nothing major, but the northwesterlies are picking up and they're saying gale force winds, whatever that means. I'll find out. Anyway, enjoy the footage. Just dug up the first coin of the day. It's a bit disturbing. It's a target that I normally don't dig up and I just dug it and it's a coin, 1907, half penny. I wonder how many of these I've missed. Anyway, let's get digging. Coin number three. What do I do, guys? Uh, I'm not going to touch that. It's definitely a good coin under there. I'm going to wait for it to rain and wash this thing away. There's worms in that. Okay guys, I'm getting tired. I think I'm getting around 50 coins. Around number 50. I just pulled out this shilling 1934. And I am exhausted. I'm bleeding. This is taking forever. I think I'm, I'm getting close. I'm going to count how many I got. It's done. I got 50 coins and I am exhausted. Some of these coins are pretty old. I can't read them, but some of them I know are over 100 years old. I got some silver coins. I just got lots of coins, 50 coins. Not bad. I got about 10 bottle caps, you know, miscellaneous junk. I'm bleeding, but I'm happy. 50 coins. I'm going home. I'm going to clean them up. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Oh yeah, about that dog poo, there's definitely a coin under it. If you guys want me to go back and dig it up in a couple weeks, just give me a thumbs up or just put it in the comments. And I'll be sure to go back in a couple weeks once it clears out. And we'll see what there is under that location. I've memorized the location. Anyway, thanks. Bye.